So Google recently introduced DNS over HTTPs on Google Chrome. But you know what? Instead of explaining it with a boring definition of what a DNS is or an HTTP is. So here I am on my computer browsing some generic sites like say, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Google and other news sites. Now all of these sites are HTTPS. So anyone in between like ISP can see them. I'm browsing on Facebook, but they can't see which profile I'm browsing on. They would if I had the connection to HTTP only. Similarly, my ISP can see I'm on Google search, but they can't see my search queries. Now this HTTPS is good and all, but as you can see, it's still not hiding the website's name that I'm visiting like Facebook or Instagram. To demonstrate this, I'm using a packet sniffer tool like Wireshark to analyze the data packet sent by this computer. And as you can see, HTTPS is able to encrypt the connection, but the DNS queries are left behind. And thus the query from the system to Google DNS server is visible to the exact URL of the website I was looking for, like facebook.com, instagram.com, and so on. Now let me show you what happens when you enable DNS over HTTPS. And as you can see, the DNS query request sent from my system to Google DNS server is visible. However, you cannot see the packets with the URL name. In layman's terms, before DNS over HTTPS, only your HTTPS queries were encrypted and not the DNS ones. But after DNS over HTTPS, your DNS queries are also encrypted. So no one in between wouldn't be able to see which domain names you're looking up or tamper with the response. So to use DNS over HTTPS, you'll need both a DNS server and a client like a web browser that supports it. As of now, third party public DNS like Google DNS, OpenDNS, etc. support DNS over HTTPS. And for client, popular browsers like Chrome 79 and Firefox do them. Here's how you set it up on Windows. To change DNS on your Windows, open control panel, click on network and internet, and then click on network and sharing center, and then click on the changing adapter settings. There you can change the adapter settings option in the left panel. Right click on the network interface connected to the internet and select the properties option. Select and check the IPv4, which is internet protocol version four, TCP IPv4 option and then click the properties button. Click the use the following DNS server address option. Type your preferred and alternate DNS addresses. Enter the following Google public DNS 8.8.8.8 .8 and then 8.8.4.4. Next, you need to configure your Chrome browser. So make sure you're running Chrome 79 or higher. In the future versions, it'll be on by default. But for now, you can force Google to use DNS over HTTPS by enabling the flag chrome semicolon forward slash forward slash flags and then forward slash hashtag dns hyphen over hyphen https and now restart your device and then make sure you clear the browser cache and flush the dns to see its effects or even a simple restart with it if you're on mac or linux you can check out other videos that we've done on how to change dns and the steps for google chrome should remain the same So there you go, that's how you set up DNS over HTTPS on Chrome browsers. Big companies like Google and you know, even Microsoft are working together to bring this globally on all systems. But internet service providers like Comcast are actually lobbying against it, which is pretty crazy. So obviously I'd like to know what you think of DNS over HTTPS. You know, should we have it by default or should we just let ISPs, you know, dismiss it? So yeah, all this talk about DNS has got me thinking about SmartDNSProxy.com, which lets you unblock jurisdicted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, Apple TV. I'm out of breath because that's how many, you know, numbers there are. And it's only five bucks a month, which is bugger all. You even get a 14 day free trial with no credit card being required. It's pretty awesome, right? Go check it out. I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the next one, because I promised you last time. <laughs>